Right. News Channelist Lenny Supal is joining us from there tonight. Lenny, what is the latest on this investigation? Good evening, Keith. Well, right now, detectives are gathering evidence and conducting interviews, but at this point in time, there still has not been any arrests in the case. But tonight, questions about mall security growing louder. Many shoppers told us they weren't even notified there was a shooter on site. The sound was a loud pop. The distinct sound of gunfire rippling through the Citrus Park Town Center Mall, a grim reminder of the terror Saturday night. It's been three days since 16-year-old Peter Hyman Jr. was shot and killed. Tonight, questions about mall safety and security, a focal point. If there is a shooting um, of some sort or a criminal on the loose um, in our area to be notified of such. And my ring app came up and it said active shooter at the mall. That alert sent Amanda Siftar hiding in the back of a store, clinging on to her children in fear. Tonight, she's disappointed. She says shoppers weren't told there was a dangerous shooter nearby. So we weren't sure if they were still at the mall, through the mall, outside the mall. We had no idea what was going on. Someone's life was taken at 16 is a baby. The Jefferson High School honor student passionate about engineering, always lighting up around family. But his light was dim Saturday night. His mother's pain now the source of this desperate plea. If there's any parents out there you know who might have done this, please speak out. And a donation page has been set up for the family. We have posted a link to that on our website. We also reached out to mall officials for more insight about their safety and security procedures moving forward. We are still waiting for a response. But Keith, I will say we have noticed a very significant increase in the number of patrols on site. Well, and you had the two people that were detained on Saturday night. Whatever happened to them? Keith, those two people were called in for questioning, but this afternoon the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office updated us once again. They said those two people were not involved in the shooting, and they all are also asking anyone with any information to give them a call. Keith? Live in Citrus Park tonight. Thank you.